talking about anxiety, like, I think it's great that we can all, like, stop and think about what we're doing when we're anxious, but I, when I, when you're anxious, like, how many of us actually are like, oh, let me reevaluate the situation while I'm having all these feelings. I don't think we, we, we don't do that when we're actually feeling anxious in the moment. Mm -hmm. um, so what, what is a good thing to do to get yourself or to allow yourself to start thinking about, you know, the bigger picture of what's really going on? We can look at mental health, anxiety, depression, all of that as three words. Our emotions, our thoughts, and our behaviors. And that's it. And what happens with anxiety is that our emotions and our thoughts kind of, we keep them inside, we bottle them up, we don't want to deal with them, and we just engage our behavior. Our politician, I will call it, because this is, when I meet you and we have a conversation, I'm just engaging with your politician, with your behaviors. I don't know what your emotions and your thoughts are. Right. And so a lot of us exist in behaviors mm -hmm. and that's not always like in real politicians, they don't really represent the constituents. <laughs> Same thing, our behaviors don't always represent our, our thoughts and our feelings. Wow. Uh, last year I went through a series of tragedies on a two year long relationship and uh, my house burned down and I tore my ACL. Mm. Um, yeah. And it was really helpful to me to figure out what I could control and what I could not control. It could be social anxiety, it could be losing a loved one or whatever. It, my biggest thing is this, is that I always try to find the silver lining mm -hmm. as I go through the process. Yeah. And, um, and I know some people would say, well, you know, you should take time to kind of, you know, grieve or whatever, or feel the emotion, you know? Yeah. And I think that I do, I am feeling the emotion, but at the same time, as I'm feeling the emotion, I'm, I'm trying to convert that problem into some type of inspiration right. to move me forward. My mantra is being okay with having a very short time horizon on my goal. But most people talk about what's your five year plan. When I'm at my worst, I'm not looking at the next five years, I'm looking at the next five minutes. Mm. What's my five minute plan? Mm. I'm gonna breathe a couple times, <laughs> listen to my heart rate, you know, uh, maybe think some, some positive thoughts. And when those five minutes are up, when I've done those things, I've succeeded. I've met my goal. So then I'll focus on the next five minutes. One step at a time. Right? That happens mm -hmm. a couple of times, maybe I'm on the half an hour goal, mm -hmm. 30 minute plan, mm -hmm. one hour plan, and go back up to the five year plan. So you don't feel overwhelmed, no. right? Right. Right. right? right. That is brilliant. That is good. Don't even think about you know, the five year plan. When you are in crisis, revert back. A one day plan. I just need to do this. You know, forget what I have to do tomorrow or in 10 days. Just I don't care right now. Just let me just put all my effort into making it through this day and worry about the next day. At the end of the day, the best thing that you can do is to be able to walk, go into your bed, and sleep. And just not have any worries, anxiety. What you need to do throughout the day is do what you got to do. So you can just rest peacefully at night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just take care of all the other business stuff. And it says, time for you to go to bed, other stuff is off the plate. Mm -hmm. Anything is still there, that could be done tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And it's also very biblical, you know. You can't add another hair to your head by worry, right? You can't add any more of this, so why worry about what's for tomorrow? Just do it what's for today. And then tomorrow have enough worry for itself. Yeah. One thing I really liked is just being able to be so real and honest and just be able to share because I think so too is that I realize from all this, one thing that I'm gonna take away is that realizing that um, you know, we all uh, have our own ways of dealing with things and sometimes what works for one person might not really work for another person but that by coming together and talking things out and sharing our stories and experiences we can kind of get to number one understand each other more but number two kind of pick up things ways of thinking from other people that we can incorporate into our own life and I know that I've done that a lot from based on what you guys have said today so my feedback is that um, I really really enjoyed this this meeting and I think this is um, just an awesome experience you know